Hi Scorpios, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for coming back for those who have been visiting my channel. Um, and thank you for sharing your stories with me here and there, Scorpios. I know that you're very private, okay? But, you know, I do appreciate the comments. Um, for those who haven't subscribed, please do so. I also, I, I always love for these messages to circulate um, for those people that need to hear it, okay? Um, if you view me for the first time, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. Scorpios, I'm doing your Q&A love reads, okay? This is something that I do in between readings, in between general tarot card readings, okay? So while you wait for your general tarot card reads, I do little miniature Q&A love reads. I ask for specific questions, okay? Number one, how are they feeling about you? Number two, what's blocking them from a, from a union or a commitment? Number three, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? Number four, are they in another relation, relationship? Now, if this question was answered in the first three questions, I'll ask, how would they feel if you and them were together? Let's get it popping. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just being silly. Number one, how are they feeling about you? Okay. All right, my dolls. All right, so just give me a moment because, um, you know, by the way, I do invite my cross watchers in my Q&A love reads because I just do. I don't know why, I just do. Um, and me, I mean, people are cross watching anyway. Um, but you know, especially for my love reads, I don't mind. Um, even though with the you know bad comments I get over the, <laughs> I, I get real bad comments from my cross watchers. Holy shit! But that's okay. Thank you for leaving a comment. Um, I don't really show my cards. Scorpio in my Q&A's for the sake of time, okay? If I have to, I will, okay? But I'll just read the energy and tell you what's going on. How are they feeling about you? Oh, it seems like I gotta put my glasses for this one because this looks juicy. How are they feeling about you? Shit, they, they're not trying to go. Sorry, I know I'm cursing. <laughs> uh, I don't mean to offend. Um, they're not, they're not trying to go nowhere, okay? You're staying in their procession. Literally, that is the word I'm using. Okay, let me show you this one card. You are staying in their procession. <laughs> okay, you put your head down. Sit, put your head down because I'm watching your every move. Do you hear me or do you not? Or do we have to use these five swords on you? I'm sorry. They're not trying to be violent, uh, but they're possessive. Uh, but you know what, um, Scorpio, which I'm not surprised this card is here, the High Priestess. Um, you're very intuitive. I sense that both of you are very intuitive, to tell you the truth. Um, and I sense it a lot with my King of Wands. I mean, I don't know who's who, but this is two different energies. I got the King of Wands with the High Priestess. Okay, now for those who are asking, Leonore, <laughs> that's not what it means. It means that's what it means to me. Moving on, um, yeah, I sense that both of you have ama amazing intuition. However, one of you, actually, both of you, I mean, Jesus Christ, we're talking about <sighs> intuition, is putting it mildly. Um, we have one that, that does some type of manifestation, okay, and then we have one that is in the dream world, um, in the 5D realm, if I have to say that, okay? Um, both of you are very defensive, very defensive against each other. However, I do sense that you do care for each other very much. Um, and I know I'm not answering the question, but I, I hope I'm, I'm reading the energy as much as I can. Um, you know, I have the devil card here, um, and my high priestess this this kind of conf confirms my devil card in the reverse um it really confirms that you're in the like either one or both of you are in the dark arts scorpio i'm not surprised <laughs> listen no tea no shade um i have five placements in scorpio okay can you imagine 
I, I'm a tarot card reader. Can you imagine what else I could do? And that's, I'm not saying that in a bad way, okay? That's just what it is, okay? How are they feeling about you? Like I said, they're possessive, moving on. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Okay, this is a lot of energy. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment, my darling Scorpios? Or cross watcher. Um Wow. That's amazing. Sorry. Let me hold on. Bear with me, Scorpios, okay? Let me just read the energy. Jesus, do you know how many six of swords are up in here? You may be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? It doesn't have to mean anything. You may have it in your birth chart. They may have it. So what's blocking them from, you know, I, I mean nothing. I'm not going to lie, nothing. Like, I, I, I'm, I have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight cards in front of me now mind you in the first spread i told you a lot of the energy right but in my in my uh this is interesting somebody's blocking me somebody's blocking me what's stopping them from a union or commitment uh no you don't need to know like that's the energy i'm getting because i even uh, i mean okay let me tell you what i see I see the Six of Swords twice. Mind you, I also saw it in the first spread, so that's three. Um, I have the Lovers, and I sense the Lovers. I mean, look how beautiful this energy is. Now, again, um, with the two suns in my Native American tarot, um, this I mean, this tells me that both of you have some, some type of real um, astral projecting... Um, paranormal activities that happen to you that happens to you you know that, that that's just a few things I'm naming you know um, and I, I'm not saying that you guys are doing it you know to hurt people's lives or something like that it's just you know that you were, it's in your lineage you were born that way okay that's your your rights um, but the lovers are here, and my Ace of Cups is here, for crying out loud, there's love, you know, even though one of them wants to possess, possess you, like they feel like you're the procession, um, but somebody cut someone off, okay, I mean, they've gone through so much experience in life that somebody just effed off, not effed off, um, how can I say it, effed up, <laughs> that's the word, effed up, um, and they left, okay, so, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Nothing. All right? I, I showed you all the energies, and I don't know what else to tell you. I hope that made sense. Rewind it if it didn't. Number three, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? With these love letters, I like to make them in a love letter format, Scorpios. Okay, so just, again, bear with me um, while I read the energy. Okay. All right. All right, ready? To whom it may concern. I've never met anyone as different as you, but it makes sense. It kept me from moving on. I fell in love with you. It was unexpected, but I loved being the relationship that I had with you. You distressed me. I've been waiting 
to have you for a very long time. I've been searching for someone like you for a very long time. And when I met you, I had the most fun with you. I know I've met you in a past life. You seem so familiar to me. We must have been married because that's how deep of a love I have for you. You are my victory, my queen, my king. And I hope that I don't lose you again in this lifetime. I know right now we're not together, but I know my angels and my spirit guides are with me to guide me. I don't want to feel like you're trapped in this situation. I just want to be careful not to approach you fast or slow, but I'm really thinking about how to get you back. I know it feels like it's a slow process, but I really want to start a new beginning with you. I get excited. I loved all the celebrations, engagements, dinner dates, even just hanging out with you. I loved every precious moment. I'll tell you the truth. You are my spirit, my mentor, my teacher, and I embrace every part of that with you. But it seems like you have other things and I understand how you feel. I might not have been the person you wanted me to be in the past. And I know I definitely broke your heart. I lied to you. And you know that I did. And that's why you left without one word. For this... I'm going to conquer the love of my life. I will never let you go anywhere again, no matter how I feel. I know that we were meant to be from the heavens to this earth. In the end, uh, this guy is, or this girl is very, um, I must say, I've never read it a love letter like that very spiritual but at the same time so like like a chilling energy you know what I mean um yeah that's like that's what I mean but anyway this person does love you like I, I mean I showed you the ace of cups the lovers I got the two of cups um you know and and and, and you know for those who need to confirm um you know that they don't they think that you don't know that you broke their, like you or whatever, broke someone's heart. Maybe you broke each other's heart, for all I know. Um, you do acknowledge what you did. You take responsibility for what you did. However, um, I almost feel like um, you know this about each other, but you're not talking it. You're not talking about it. Okay? Moving on. Are they in another relationship? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, um, I'm just going to name some signs, um, you know, whether it resonates with you or not does not matter. But I got Pisces, I got all water signs, okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I got Capricorn or any earth sign. Um, I have Gemini. Uh, I did tell you that I have, um, you know, my air signs, Gemini, Aries, I'm sorry, not Aries. Well, Aries, yes, Aries is here. Um, Gemini, um, Aquarius, Libra, if that means anything to you, okay, those signs are really, um, are in my face. Moving on. Are they in another relationship? Um, you know, they're sneaking. They're very sneaky. They're telling someone, whoever they're with, they're telling someone, one thing when it really is another because this person you're you're in this person's head constantly and and whoever they're with 
they're trying to start like a like a solid foundation with them and and this person your person or whoever it is you know you guys are like no I mean I, I mean I know I lost someone that I really love but I, I don't know if I want to start a foundation right now I mean they may come back to me and change their mind you know this is this is the person that I want to spend my life with um, and even though they walked away from me I, I, I hope that they realize that I, I don't want to go anywhere you know I, I honestly just feel so much for them and I, I'm, I know I'm reading it has a love letter right <laughs> It's not me, Scorpios. I don't feel them that much. <laughs> That's interesting that I'm saying that, right? I don't feel that much for them. Um, and that's crazy because it's so weird. Wow, I don't take shit as a coincidence, let me tell you. For me to say I, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been single for many, many, many months. But why did I say I? Is somebody coming back to the past? Yeah, somebody's listening. I don't know who this is because I told you I have like five placements in Scorpio, right? <laughs> All right, half my chart. Um, death, resurrection, okay, transformation. So if you think that this person hasn't transformed or maybe you don't believe them for whatever they did in the past, I'm going to say they have. I, mm, I'm going to say 75%. <laughs> Never 99.9, .9, but I'm going to say 75%. Yes, they have, they, they, they've learned their lesson, but their lesson was really the fact that they lost you. Um, they're not trying to build a relationship with no one else. Okay. And I'm sorry I made the reading. Um, <laughs> Leonora, this is not your reading. It's, it's someone else's. Um, yeah. But anyway, like I said, I mean, I've been single for months, whatever. Um, I also see Sagittarius, if that means anything, okay? All right, my Scorpios, I'm out of here. If you need a private reading, my email is in the description box. Love you. Bye.